D16's Phocyon bass line is a virtual instrument that emulates the classic 303 acid bass sound that has been popularized by electronic dance music from the 1980s to the present. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to write a pattern using the internal sequencer and save it for later use. This is a clip of what Phocyon can sound like within a song. Let's solo Phocyon from the other parts and remove any effects so that you can only hear the dry bass sound. Let's get started learning how to create the bass line featured in this tutorial. To begin, you'll want to ensure that your sequencer is set to internal so that Phocyon is using its own internal sequencer to create the pattern. Click the internal sequence diode under the SEQ or sequence section and it will light up red to indicate that it is engaged. For this tutorial, this is the only one out of the three diodes in this section that should be engaged. Next, under the section Pattern Control and Edit, you will find the red Pattern Write button. Click this to engage Pattern Write mode, which will also light up red. Notice to the right of the 16-step sequencer where it says Step Number and Pattern Length. Once you've engaged Pattern Write mode, you will be able to edit the Pattern Length or Time Signature. Simply click on the orange Pattern Length button, which will flash red when engaged, and then click the red dot under the desired step to adjust the pattern length. There are 16 steps total. If you shorten the pattern to one bar, or four steps, you can hear how it shortens the pattern to be quite repetitive. And this is what the full 16-step pattern sounds like. Now that we've gone over how to set the pattern length, let's learn how to input some notes into the sequencer. This is where some general music theory can come in handy if you have it, or you can just play by ear. If we click on step one in the sequence, we can choose the note that we want to play for that step in the sequence. When producing 4-4 music, oftentimes you will not want anything to play on the one because the kick drum is already on that step. For better sound dynamics, let's go to step two and place a note there. In order for the note to be audible, we must first select a note on the piano roll so that the red button appears, and then click on one or all of the buttons on the right where it says gate, accent, and slide. The state of the gate, accent, and slide buttons determine if the note will play and how it will play. Refer to the Phocyon manual for more on this, but a short explanation is that the gate button must be engaged for you to hear the note playing on that particular step. Engaging the accent button will give the note a volume accent and can be adjusted by turning the accent volume knob here at the top of Phocyon. Engaging the slide button will make the current step note slide to the next note that is engaged, which can be heard in many classic acid techno tracks. Adjust the length of your slide note by turning the slide time knob at the top. To move to the next step in your sequence, either click on the next step's diode or click on the white buttons to the right that say next and previous. You can adjust the amplitude envelopes decay of each step by turning the step length knob. For each step that you input a note for, be sure to click on the transpose buttons that reside just above the eighth step on the piano roll. Select one or both up and down. This affects which octave the note will play.
While pattern right mode is still engaged, if you click the shift button to the right or left, it will shift all of the notes over one sequence step. If you click on the orange transpose button, it will shift all of the notes one half step up or down within the octave scale. To use any of these orange buttons like clear, undo, copy, and paste, pattern right must be engaged. Once you have input your pattern, click the red pattern right button to exit pattern right mode. Once you're satisfied with your pattern, you should save it. Do so by executing control click on Windows or command click on a Mac, and a dialog window will open. Choose the folder where you want to save your pattern, title it, and click save. Now comes the fun part of shaping the sound of your bass line. ARP mode is particularly fun and can add a lot of dimension to your sequence. For example, just click on ARP mode and select random to add a nice random arpeggiator to your sequence. The octave range buttons expand or minimize the range of octaves accessed by your sequence. Adjust the amplitude envelope, filter, resonance, wave shape, and distortion until you find the sound that you want. You can also scroll through the presets as well. And you can save your preset for future reference by clicking on Store Preset if you like. Please refer to the Focion user manual for a more detailed explanation of the options section and more. Congratulations on learning how to create your first baseline in D16's Focion. Thanks for watching. Please support us by subscribing to Noisebox Research on YouTube.